weekend. A very, very exciting weekend is ahead of us because we are going to finish the turtle tank and move in our very first reptiles into the zoo. Ed is actually working on the tank right now. Yeah, I ran heat to it. Good job! Yeah. You got the heat all hooked up. Yeah, the heat in here. So there are two heaters and one UV sterilizer in the overflow chamber. This and one's the UV sterilizer, heater, and then heater. Having them all in the overflow area will keep them separated from all of the turtles so that they can't come into contact. And the UV sterilizer is bad for their eyes if they were to see it, so it's all hidden perfectly in here. Also, our store is open right now, so you can hear voices in the background. But we are working even when we're open on the zoo. A lot. <sighs> okay, so what's happened here is I was editing and Ed said, oh, I'm filling up the turtle tank. And I realized, uh-oh, I want to decorate that first because that includes me going in barefoot and arranging rocks. And I'd rather not do that when the water is up to my waist. You should probably stop filling that up. Nah, it's fine. Well, I guess I better jump in yeah, and start you better, decorating. You better start decorating. <laughs> Wait, before we even decorate, we need sand in here. Yeah, that's right, don't we? We haven't even done the substrate. Why are you filling this up? Well, because I want to make sure it's got to have more water pressure, and I wanted to test out the, the pump. Okay, so the plan is now that that hose is out, we are going to add sand, and we bought a ton of cool rocks, including some really big pieces from the landscaping company that we're going to arrange in here with the help of everybody who's working. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going to make it... Secretly sneaking up on us. Yeah. Wait, we actually have to put that up, too. We do. So this is an amazing sign that was made by Riverside Creek up in Canada. We highly, highly recommend them. This is all like custom made just for our zoo and they make all sorts of cool, even reptile themed signs too. But anyway, this is gonna go up there so it is the first thing you see when you enter the zoo, but that we should probably hang as well before filling that up. Oh, you don't want to walk around in sand? Oh, I guess I kind of do. Then let's put sand in Okay, there. let's do sand first. That would be cool to feel the sand between our toes. Yeah, it would be like we're going to the beach. is taking a little while because we are rinsing or washing, whatever you want to call it, the sand because we're trying to rinse out or flush out all the silt basically. Yeah. So we're taking each bag all individually. Yeah, we're getting all that out of the sand. Otherwise, that's just going to cloud up the water. Yep. But it's hard to hear in here. So that's what we're doing in the background. That's why it's taking a while. We have added uh, a lot of sand and some rocks and uh, all the silt that is still remaining in the sand though is clouding up this water. So we're going to let it sit overnight and come back tomorrow when it should be a lot clearer so that we can decorate it a little easier. But before we go, check out this awesome log! We got this last year at Nick and Danae's when we were chopping down their trees and I have been so excited to put this in just the right enclosure and I think it's meant for turtles. Yeah, I think it'll go great in turtles. Yeah, yeah, look, they can like swim through there even. If, and it's gonna like fill this out too. I know it looks really murky right now, but th that's why it's gonna sit overnight. So I think while we're waiting for that to clear up, we may as well put this in there too, cause that'll add a little bit more debris. So- and If there's any bugs, they'll drown. Yeah, if there's any bugs, they'll drown. Perfect. So let's drop her in. All right. Oh, that's cool. As you can hear, bubbles are already uh, filling. Yeah, so it's becoming waterlogged as we speak. So we're gonna let all this sit overnight. And really, what this enclosure needed, what this tank needed, was a good centerpiece. So I think once that's waterlogged, like, the rocks are gonna come off. That'll be... it'll look really nice in there. Hooray! Tannins! My favorite thing in the world! I kind of thought this was going to happen, so the brown is caused by the tannins being leached from the wood here. So that's one of the reasons why we didn't fill it up more, was so that we could let it sit overnight to get the original round of tannins out of the wood, and now we're going to drain the water, refill it, and get all these tannins out of here. But clarity-wise, it does look like all the sand has settled. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but it doesn't look like we have any suspended silt or small particles, so that's good. Now it's just getting that brown tint out. Well, this is kind of interesting. I know it's really loud because the pump is going, but it seems like the tannins are denser than water, so they sink to the bottom, which makes us able to vacuum them up specifically. Like, look at that. They were just disappearing in the hose right there. Does this have a pretty strong suction to it? I think so. Jeez, yeah it does. Okay, I won't do that again. Alright, we have 
of decorations in. You can't see them because of all the remaining silts still settling, but it is decorated. And when it clears up, I think that's going to look really nice. We have a good balance of wood, rocks, and some fake plants. And we're also going to put some live lilies in here too. I think that'll be really cool floating on top. So next we're going to install the sun. That one. That one. <laughs> Okay, are you ready for this everyone? Three, two, one. <gasps> that looks amazing! Thank you again, Riverside Creations. That looks so good. The colors match the scheme perfectly. Yeah, especially once we add some like vines hanging down the side and stuff like really green it up. Yes, we have more plants on the way so we can really decorate it. And now we are going to test out the filter to make sure that doesn't leak. And assuming it doesn't, we're going to let this sit overnight in case tomorrow there's more tannins and we have to do another water change. But then we top it off. If fall goes as planned, I think we could move turtles in tomorrow. That'd be sweet. Yes, it would. Look! We have the filter running! Oh my gosh, that looks amazing! It's probably hard to hear. So, I'm gonna go back here. One more thing we're gonna do before we leave it for overnight is to reduce the chance of us having to do another huge water change to remove tannins, we're going to put some activated carbon or charcoal into the filter, which we're doing a Fluval FX6. Not a sponsor or anything, I just really like these big filters from Fluval. And we're going to put carbon in as our filtration media. We typically go with Purigen as our chemical filtration media, and that's because it's like less wasteful. But carbon is really good at removing odors and acids from the water, so for this time, and just for the initial setup, we're gonna put carbon in and see what it looks like tomorrow. Yeah, we had to drain it again. Look behind me! The turtles are with us! And they're going to the shop! We're so excited! They're finally moving into the zoo! Yay! Yay! We also have the Argentine bow with us too. Oh yeah, that's the Argentine bow. Oh, they don't know about that yet. Oh. Well, maybe they do. I don't know. There's also an Argentine poa in there. All right, we're back at the shop, and uh, it looks like we have to do maybe one more water change to get these tannins out. And while we're doing that, we're going to work on decorating the backdrop with vines and cool plants, and then we'll put the turtles in! <laughs> The turtle tank decorated as much as it's gonna be for now. Yep. We are still going to add, I think, like some paneling up on top here. We're also gonna wrap the corners. Yep, so, so that if somebody sure. has a stroller that they're pushing through, they yep. don't hit the corner so it kind of protects the tank. But I think we're good for now. Yeah, our I think it's ready for turtles. Is it ready for turtles? This will be the first animal in. The first reptile in the zoo. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Who do Look. you want to put in first? Let's do our painted turtle. We can do her first. Shelly. This is, yep, this is Shelly, our painted turtle. She's actually shedding a couple scutes right now. Always and shedding. Always shedding, yeah. Then we've got Shelby, our false map turtle. These are my main program turtles, so let's do them first. Okay. Uh, maybe one at a time, just yeah. to see where they go. Where are you gonna go? Ready, gets, Shelly? Oh. Check it out. What in the world? Oh my gosh. Look at your new home. <laughs> Do I swim down? Aww, look at her go. She's getting old. Yeah. We've had her a long time. Aww, okay. Shelby, little false map turtle. Are you ready? Are you ready? She's probably my out most outgoing turtle. Very used to handling. Here you go. Where are you gonna go? I'm gonna go right to dad and ask for food. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Yeah, she likes oh, to do that. Oh. Wait, there's a whole like plant over here. Go check it out. Next, let's do Mitchell, our Aww. rescued painted turtle. Hey, little sombrero boy. I think you all saw when we first got him. Like he's been doing great. He hasn't grown at all. Yeah, but, but I mean it's understandable given his. How old is he? Twelve. Okay, that sounds about right. I, I don't think. know exactly though, actually, but he's a good little swimmer. Yeah, little stunted guy. Yeah, here you go, Mitchell. Go on in. Oh. And Whoa. there's Shelly. Whoa, who are you? Oh, are you going to show wait, off? Wait, wait, isn't that supposed to be the other way around? Yeah, usually the male shows off, but uh, I guess in this case she... Uh, she's well, like, oh, look at that sexy boy. She's <laughs> never seen a male painted turtle before, with us anyway. So, uh, I mean, they're, he's the right age, he just looks like a baby because he's so small. <laughs> cool! And, uh, and she's still sitting right at the top. She's trying to find someone to beg for food. Yep. 
Next, we'll do, how about our Washita, uh, Matt yeah, Turtle? Sure. We adopted this guy through our local Herpetological Society, and we've had him for a while. He I looks so grumpy. He is very grumpy. He's not very handleable, so I don't bring him to programs, but he's got the cool spikes yeah, down his so back. Yeah, so cool. Like, that is really cool. They've got really neat spikes back here on the back of their shell. Yeah, and, and the ridges the, up top. Yep, those ridges are so cool. That's why a lot of people mistake them for snapping turtles, is oh, because really? of these spikes. Hmm. But they're called the map turtle because it looks like someone drew a map on their belly, oh, okay. on their sides on their legs they're kind of a map all over so these are called both the washita map turtle or the washita it's a native american name that they get and they are just a really cool species nice. should we put you in he has never met the other map turtle we have so i'm curious to see what he does <laughs> who's over there looking at a stick yeah shelby here want to see a boy oh what? is he food who is this oh new friend no oh. let me go what do you think <laughs> swim away <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Oh, these two are still uh, hanging together. Aww. Come back here! That's really cute, how they're getting along already. <laughs> it's like he doesn't want anything to do with her. Yeah. And she's like, come here! So we have up until now housed our turtles in two separate tanks. And I know there's controversy on co-having different species of turtles, but we have all native species. And if they're like introduced slowly, they can work. And it's worked great for us. I know our turtles get along with other turtles because we've had them together for many years. It's just today the two tanks are combining. So we're going to keep an eye on them to make sure everybody gets yep, along there. Like, like these two. Uh, <laughs> are you BFS now? Eh, go away. There might be food involved now. <laughs> so next we have our stink pots or our musk turtles. This is our smallest species of turtle in Minnesota. These are full grown, believe it or not. I have a male in this hand and a female in this hand who was on Craig. We found her on Craigslist being sold as a map turtle. <laughs> She's not a map turtle. No, They're... look at all those maps though. Oh yeah, uh-huh. Definitely a map turtle there. <laughs> They're called the musk turtle because when they feel threatened, they emit a very foul smelling odor and they smell really bad. She's okay. He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry we traveled. Here, here's your new home. And they'll sink right to the bottom. Yeah, these likely. are more ground dwellers. Who is that, Shelly? A what new friend? The, is that food? Gonna follow her down. Here goes our little male. We made sure they had tons of opportunities to climb up and out of the water. They've got logs and rocks, and of course he's gonna go right to the bottom. The musk turtles will forage for food at the bottom of the body of water most of the time, and then they'll swim up to the top for breaths of air as needed. Aw, she's exploring! Oh, and then there's the, uh, <laughs> the attention-craving turtle. Well, we only have one turtle left to put in. Should we, uh... Hi. Jeez, must be a painted turtle thing. Yeah. Oh, it's you again. I think they're like BFFs now. <laughs> That's really cute how they immediately bonded. Yeah, and he already found the, the ramp, so. Oh, he did? He yeah. was going up? Yeah, he was like headed up a little bit. Oh, cool. Hi, guys. Should we put the soft shell in? Sure. Last turtle. Last turtle. And this is the one I'm most excited for, I think. <laughs> this is ta Taco. <laughs> I know, you're not happy. I put you in a separate one. Yeah, I thought one. we changed his name. It was Pancake, now That's it's Taco. That's what it was, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, Pancake's overused as a name for soft shell turtles, I think, so his name is Taco, because, you know, soft, soft. shell. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're <laughs> gonna put him in. I didn't want him to get, like, scratched or, like, you know, roughhoused with in transit, so I put him in a separate container, but now we're gonna set him in. All squirmy and... Yep, he's a program animal of mine, but uh, soft shells are pretty wiggly as it is. But here we go. Oh, you ready, kick, Taco? Kick, 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 kick. Oh. Ooh, what do you think? We actually did a sand substrate just for him so that he could burrow under the sand and it helps clean their shells and keep bacteria off of it. So that's gonna help promote that natural behavior for him. Well, there we go. We have an awesome new turtle tank for our turtles and it'll be the first thing that people see when they come into the zoo. And thank you again, Riverside Creations, for the amazing sign. I think that combined with the turtles is just gonna be a, I don't know, a showstopper as soon as you walk in. We have their basking area over here that has both heat and UVB and that is accessible through the top flap there and they're able to get out and into the basking area using this ramp which we made very secure maybe not as secure as i thought okay i will fix that ramp and make sure it is very secure we made it super secure yeah i'm i'm glad that i uh, did that so i can fix it uh, and i think in you know typical turtle style when they dip back into the water just like they would falling off of a log into the water in a lake say they're just going to fall right into the water from this so it'll be just like if they were in the wild what do you think, Shelly? Yeah, that's your basking spot. I think we're gonna move all the turtles out here to kind of teach them that this is where you can come out and bask, and then kind of maybe every day do that a couple times. And I think they'll pick up on it after that. Aw, 
And the musk turtles love hiding in the log. It's kind of hard to see. I don't want to put my phone underwater because then you won't be able to hear me at all. But yeah, both musk turtles are in there right now. Go away, Mitchell. This isn't about you. <laughs> and they are so cute in there. Thank you for watching today's video on our new turtle setup. Are you gonna crawl it? Yeah, there you go. I am so stoked with how this turned out and thank you Universal Rocks for making such an amazing tank. It was a custom build for our zoo and they did a perfect job. This turned out so nice, I think. So we are going to actually move on to moving some snakes in here next. Not in today's video, but that'll be coming out shortly after this one. So thank you to our Patreon backers as well for your very generous support. You allowed us to totally deck out this entire cage with logs and rocks and stuff like that. I'm gonna let Shelby go. And we have turtles in the zoo! Mm -hmm. Here you go! This is so cool! The musk turtles are like, no other turtles allowed. <laughs> yeah. This is the musk turtle clubhouse. <laughs> yeah. No girls. I mean, no other turtles allowed. Can I come into the clubhouse? <laughs> no. Go away. Oh, denied. <laughs>